You ever wanted to carve a jumbo pineapple? Well, stay tuned and Sexton Chainsaw Carvers will show you how. Hope everybody's doing good today. Chad Sexton here, Sexton Chainsaw Carvers. Right here, back out in the woods, got my snake leggings on just to be safe. First cook, that's a little pine stump. Just making a little scribe line at the bottom. Doing some angle cuts down, kind of get that down slope at the very bottom of the pineapple. Just gonna steadily work my way all the way around. Cut in about a bar, about a bar width. About a bar width, make a slice down, downward angle. Work my whole way around through there. Keep going around, getting all the little sharp edges off, make it as round as I possibly can. Save a lot of grinding work. Right here, this is going to be the the top of the actual where the meat of the pineapple is and it starts to leaves. We're just going to do the right to opposite. It's going to go a bar width in, do an up cut. You know, just like that right there. Work our way around, all the way around. Coming back. Go in a bar width, do an up cut. Going in a little deeper on these. Trying to get in that little, that little pineapple shape to it. Just taking a little bit of wood off at a time. Not getting in no hurry. Shave all the bark off of it. Go all the way around, get that bark off. That way you can see what's going on. Once we get that bark off, I can do a little better now. Start making a little, little go in a little deeper. I can see it where the actual meat of the wood is. Do that right there. Still just taking a little off, work my way around. All right. We got this pretty good little shape going on right here. Go ahead and get that top part off where the leaves are on top of it. Get that bark off. There it is. That's going to be our first. Going to divide this into two segments. Scribe a line all the way around. Then we're going to then do the down cuts. Try to match the two cuts best I can. Now where the pineapple, the body of the pineapple goes up, then it flares out into the leaves. Just keep working my way all the way around. Knocking all the sharp corners off. Here we go. Checking it out, seeing what I think. I'm going to do the same thing. Go a bar width in. About a bar width. Do it all the way around on a scribe line. Trying to keep everything straight. That worked out pretty good. Now I'm going to do our second, do our second layer of leaves up here. Do that right there. Down cut. Work all the way around. Hope everybody's doing good. Everybody's staying safe. So, still on this little shutdown, whatever you want to call it. Let's see it now. I didn't couldn't decide whether I was gonna leave that little top part in there or not. Try to make some leaves on top. So I was gonna do just a little something right there, just to kind of dig that little centerpiece out. Wasn't real sure about that. So right here, all I'm doing is just going in a little deeper, kind of give them little leaves a little more dimension. Make them kind of pop out a little bit. All I'm doing, just making little V cuts. Just keep working my way around. Work. That's all I'm doing, just working my way around, knocking little chunks of wood out. Right here, working on top again. Just trying to keep my eyes on it, see what I do. I don't want to take off too much wood at one time because I can't put it back on. So it's best just to do small cuts when you're first doing your rough cut. Keep working, yeah. Right here, I didn't decide to take that top out. I believe it looked better. Just working my way around, trying to pop that little centerpiece out. There it goes, got it out. Now we're gonna do little V cuts right here into that, kind of creating our own, our individual leaves. Just make that little V, pop that little center out. That's it. Just work our way around. Do the bottom section and the top section. Just work our way around. That's all we're doing. Just cutting little V's in it. I did the bottom. Now we're working. You can see it a little better right here on this top part. 
and see it. That's all we're doing right there. Knocking little chunks of wood out, creating individual leaves. All right, we got them about finished up now. And a few more little sections. That's the last one right there. Get them out of there and give it an eyeball. Make sure I like it. Oh yeah. Cut them off that stump. Try to get them nice and level. That way it sets nice and pretty. That's it. And away we go. Got them back at the house right here on my little stand. All I'm doing right here is just scribing. I tried drawing some lines. You can see my little pencil marks, my little crayon marks. And it didn't work out too good. So I just, just eyeballing it. Started out just making little V's. Coming down, just making little V's. That way I didn't, didn't mess up the whole whole pineapple all the way down. Just doing little little small V's, just like that right there. Just working my way around. Then I come back and I do another set of V's, just matching them two up. That's all I was doing, just going to the next layer down. And as you can see, where I dropped that saw down, just doing my next layer down, next set of V's. That's it, just keep working your way around. Take your time, make sure they, they all look kind of pretty and everything's symmetrical. And work my way all the way around it. Checking it out, it looks pretty good to me. Flip them upside down right here, we're gonna do the few on the bottom right there at the very bottom side of it. And then make sure you got a little something all the way around it, a little details all the way around it. There it is right here. I'm just using the nose of that saw, digging it in just to save a little bit of grinding work on the pines. That way I can kind of have a little bit different uh, wood grain, so it adds a little, a little something to the, to the actual body of the pineapple. Uh, and all I'm doing now is just cleaning them up, just cleaning up all my little cuts the best I can. Just trying to make sure everything's nice and clean in there. You got no real hard edges on it. No major chunks of wood still stuck in there. Just trying to round out the leaves a little better. All these are right here. Just trying to put my little best I can on the saw before I go to the grinder. All right, now I got my grinder out. Now all I'm gonna do is just sand him up. Go in between each of them lines, all the way around. Right there where I nosed that saw, where I took a nose that saw, made them little circles. I'm gonna clean all that up, make them smooth. You'll be able to see the difference in the wood grains once you dig them in there just a little bit. That's there. Just clean them up. Keep cleaning them all the way up. And all I'm doing is knocking all the little extra bark off. Working my way around. That's it. Sand the leaves. Sand inside it. Flip them upside down. Just make sure all the best you can, all those sharp edges are gone. That's it, flip them over. Do the bottom of the leaves. Get everything nice and pretty. Bring that wood grain out. Make that thing kind of pop with that wood grain. Best I can anyway. That's it, just keep working my way around. Just cleaning them up. There it is. And now do the top layer right there. And bottom side of the leaves. Kind of make that wood grain pop out a little bit. There it is, in between the leaves. Like I said, do everything everything you can get with that grinder. Just try to smooth it up, get all the splinters off, everything off of it. And come back right here, then to dust him off. I'm done with my grinding, done with all that. Dust him off, dust inside the little lines there. On the leaves, clean them up real good. And that's it. Now we're gonna put that wood sealer on there, wood grain enhancer, wood sealer, waterproofer. You can see where I grinded them holes right there a little bit pretty good on that angle. You can see it kind of, you can see how, once you put that sealer on there, it makes them pop. You got the different grains looking, so it kind of 
gives that little illusion. You can see them all the way around. That's it. Just keep working all the way around and seal him up. I did the bottom of it first right here. What I did is I took just a, just maybe just a little bit of green paint and kind of mixed it in with that wood sealer just a little bit. I didn't want to, didn't want to paint the whole top, but I wanted to add just a little bit of green color to it. And it worked out okay. It just, it, it really didn't turn out to be as, as dark as I wanted it to be. So, but I didn't want to, you know, mess, mess my sealer up, so I just sealed it like this right here. And worked all the way around in them leaves, making them leaves, you know, kind of give them that green, green tint to them. Coming back. They look good. Get everything sealed up. Right here, I'm taking that same, same color green. Just standing back, just misting it just a little bit. All over them leaves, just that way. I can still, you can still see that wood grain in there, but we're gonna mist it just a little bit because it's already been sealed. And that's it. We got it painted up, sealed up, chainsawed and grinded. So I said, I did a tiki the other day, and I thought, well, good thing to go with a tiki man. It's gonna be a pineapple. I really appreciate everybody watching. If you don't mind, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, get more videos. I upload one every Sunday. Try and do a little more right now since we're on this little shutdown. Keep everybody entertained. But as always, hey y'all, let's carve together and everybody be safe. Thank you.